Uh, they, they are not what they used to be. Uh, history should write that Jim Beheim made the Carrier Dome a place to be. That Jim Beheim recruited great kids from the Eastern Seaboard into snow country, blizzard country, recruiting visit. I hope you can get here. Hope the airport's not closed. What a great job he did. But that being said, he was an old time guy. I look at it this way. This is the last of the legends to retire. Mm. You know, Bobby Knight's gone. John Thompson passed. Roy Williams retired. Dean Smith has left us. Coach K, Jay Wright, they've stepped away from the game. He is now the latest to go. 47 years. Played there, assistant coach there, became head coach there. I think hell of a guy, hard guy to deal with. Holy cow, rough edges everywhere as it relates to relationships with media. He invented his own defense. He's probably the last guy on the face of the earth that's playing matchup zone every minute of every day. Uh, he His program got into NCAA hot water twice. They've never really recovered from that. And now they might not even make the NIT this year. It'll be the second straight year that there is no orange basketball in the tournament. That being said, NCAA title, four times to the Final Four. Gone to the tournament 35 years. Wow. Phenomenal run. Uh, his, his coaching record is just equally spectacular. Uh, recruited the hell out of the East Coast. And, and he was part of the architect, he and John Thompson and Jim Calhoun, that made Big East basketball something you had to watch. And this, <laughs> yes. this was in the same parking lot as when the Atlantic Coast Conference owned everything. And here came the Big East beast. And what a great program. But uh, I think it was probably time for him to step down. It just is not the same program anymore. The scandals zinged him. He really had a rough edge end of his career dealing with a media that asked tough questions. And I, I think somewhere sometime soon, Syracuse needs to put up that statue in front of the Carrier Dome mm -hmm. because Syracuse basketball nationally is because of him. You know, I was watching part of the press conference after the game, and he was hinting that it wasn't his decision, that it was the administration maybe is asking him to leave, that he was being a little bit coy about it. But the week before the end of season press conference, he was berating the media. I will step down when I want to step down. Mm. Not what you write in your column or what you say on a talk. He was just typical Jim Beheim, <laughs> you know, punching bag with the media, mm -hmm. exchanging gunfire with the media. Uh, I don't think he was forced out, but I think there's a reality there that, okay, you've taken this and you've done such phenomenal things. We can't go on, but last of legends gone. Yeah. yeah I mean, I, I always think of Beheim from a San Diego perspective that the game that was on the, the, the midway, you know, and it was windy and they were playing that, that zone defense and the Aztecs were doomed. And then a couple of years ago, Syracuse knocked them off. I think what Aztecs were a six Syracuse and 11 and buddy Bayheim went crazy. He went crazy. Yeah. So, but yeah, back in the eighties, the big East was the thing to watch. I mean, Georgetown, St. John's, um, Villanova. I mean, I'm probably leaving out other teams. UConn was in there, Providence and Syracuse. So it was great times. Yep.